Hello everyone. So in this video, we will be talking about Cognitive Agency Technical Assessment 2026. So currently I am making this video. First time we are discussing the exam pattern of 2026 hiring Cognizant Technical Assessment. So let's start. Okay. So if you guys received the technical assessment exam, just tell me in the comment section because I know you guys have completed your aptitude. After completing the aptitude, I don't think currently the results are out for the technical assessment. But if your result is out, if you receive the mail for technical assessment, you can just tell me in the comment section. Also, you can tell me in the comment section what is the date of the technical assessment in your college. Let's start. So let's understand the cluster first. So there are total three cluster, cluster one, cluster two, cluster three. The first is Java cluster. So what is Java cluster? So basically in Java cluster, you will be getting two coding questions. Okay. In two coding questions, Java will be allowed okay, to solve the question. Then there is cluster 2, Python cluster, in which you will be getting two coding questions. In this, Python is allowed to solve the coding question. Then there is C sharp cluster. There will be total two coding questions. And in this coding question, C sharp will be allowed. This is the basic difference. Also, in the Java cluster, you will be getting two SQL question one web-based question in c sharp cluster also you will be getting two sql question one web-based question in python cluster you will be getting two sql question and 10 mcq on clouds this is the basic difference now the java cluster is the default cluster so if you have not selected any cluster you will be getting java also the final selection depends upon cognizant suppose if you have filled python cluster maybe there are chances you will be getting python or you will be getting c sharp depending upon if you have chosen them but majorly java is the default cluster and if you have not chosen any cluster most probably you will be getting the java cluster okay which is cluster one although the final decision of getting the cluster depends upon cognizant okay so it totally depends upon cognizant which cluster they want to assign you now let's talk about the two coding questions so first of all in this two coding question you will be getting the questions from array strings numbers and generic problem like plus minus and multiplication and divide so basically what i have seen is there are two coding question one is easy one is little bit easy medium you can say okay majorly what type of questions i have seen is some problem is given you need to do some mathematics computation and you need to question uh, solve that question for an example something is given okay into for an example i am just explaining you okay just say something is given in hours and minutes okay so suppose four hours okay and 24 minutes now they'll ask if it is four hours and 24 minutes how many seconds it will be okay how many seconds so something like this so you know in one minute there is 60 seconds so you can convert all the hours into the minutes like four hours will be whatever it is 240 minutes okay plus 24 minutes so 240 plus 24 right which is 264 and then you can multiply by 6 or 60 so something like this so this is the basic mathematics computation in which you are converting the hours into the minutes then minutes into the seconds multiplying it plusing it okay so something like this like like mathematical computation based questions also they ask so much otherwise array strings and number is the favorite topic majorly they don't ask the questions from data structures and algorithms you don't need to go so much deep in data structures and algorithms like dynamic programming trees graphs okay basic questions you can prepare for array strings numbers generic questions okay it will work talking about the cutoff so basically code is easy 1 to 1.5 plus is a good score so if you are solving 1.5 plus easily you can solve if you have basic coding knowledge okay so it is a good score only the thing which can be concerning is if you are not writing the code in the first attempt which is right then time limit is the problem you 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 can basically get the problems within the time limit otherwise if you know the logic in the first time you are writing the actual correct code you will just solve it very very easily okay so 1.5 plus is a very good score otherwise one plus at least mandatory to solve okay 
so try to solve at least one plus which you will easily solve if you know coding okay it can be the basic cutoff but try to solve 1.5 plus okay otherwise course is easy you can easily do before moving ahead i just want to walk you through to the mock uh, mock test okay so this is the mock test basically cognizant agency mock test which you can purchase the link will be in the description here you will be getting the technical assessment mock test okay also you will be getting the actual previous year questions with solutions so actual solutions are provided and sql is also provided with with solutions also actual questions from this year all the photos you can get okay so many things are mentioned here also we have a special coupon for you guys which you can use for this so basically you can use the coupon cognizant here okay so just uh, uh, apply the coupon cognizant while you will uh, purchasing the course and it will give you a decent discount a discount okay so just apply the coupon cognizant uh, while uh, purchasing the course the code will be in the description okay so how you will be applying the code uh, applying the code i'll just tell you okay so this is basically the course click on uh, basically click on buy now after clicking on buy now you will be getting uh, these option okay here you can basically apply your coupon so must apply your coupon here you will be getting one option to apply your coupon and you can purchase this course by applying the coupon okay uh, cognizant is the coupon name which you can use and you will get the discount link will be in the description now talking about two sql questions so the level of the questions will be medium level and the thing is it has big data schema so sql query will not be very very tough okay the query will not tough query you will be getting will be easy medium only okay the level of the query will be not tough but the thing is the data which you will be getting like the schemas okay which they provides actually you can get like get three to four tables connected by some primary key and uh, foreign key so the database can be little bit lengthy otherwise queries also in the mock test we provided like 60 queries for the practice okay so if you are purchasing the mock test then this pdf is enough this 60 sql pdf is enough for the sql all for your all two questions okay easily you can do because we have provided a lot of practice queries for it okay so 60 sql query pdf is enough for it okay otherwise medium level you will be getting with big data schemas so query actually score required is very uh, high because generally in the technical assessment always if you will notice in the technical assessment for all three clusters sql part sql part is mandatory okay sql part is mandatory like in java also you have sql in c sharp also you have sql in python also you have sql why because actually cognizant gives a highest importance to uh, sql and solving 1.5 plus can be a good score okay try to perform very good in sql because it has some weightage okay it has some weightage and what i have seen is if you will practice good sql queries you can easily do 1.5 plus and uh, this would be a good score for you then talking about one web based question generally you get the questions like suppose you need to design you need to design digital clock digital clock okay now they will say we already implemented the hour okay you just need to implement minute minute in the design so you will be having some code in html css and javascript as they have already defined the r systems you only define need to define the minute system so basically you will there are two options maybe you will you need to write the code from scratch okay you will be writing each and everything for a small for a small question otherwise if there is big question maybe you will be getting one template like I have explained you for the digital clock and you need to just implement some specific feature. So this kind of question you will be getting. And in this, a very high performance is not required, but at least try to solve 20 to 50%. Try to solve at least something, try to implement little bit of things. Okay, so that would be fine. So try to score at least 50% in this web-based question. So this is your whole technical assessment pattern also the link of the mock test in the description where you will be also getting the uh, coupon code so coupon code cognizant you can use to get the discount thank you so much for watching